Look, man, I love snowboarding as much as I hate hearing my own voice. It's so hard to describe what it is about riding a board that makes it so attractive. I think why I love snowboarding so much is because it's always there for me in a way. Some sort of escape, like a place with no rules, something that really makes you feel alive. It has so many different sides to it, so many ways to express yourself. Such a rich history, so many styles and things of influence. Everybody's free to pick out whatever he wants and find his own way of doing it. Like shaping boards became such an important part for me. Starting ASMO with one of my best friends, Steve, turned out to be one of the raddest projects. Building these POW surfers, which are heavily influenced by surfing, gave us a new perspective on what else can feel fun and that there is more out there than just the competitive side of things. You know, stuff that lasts longer, that is more meaningful to you in that moment of time. It was all about the glide in powder and adapting these concepts of fish and planing hull designs to our POW surfers. I guess the search for new things never really ends. Like riding with my kids, riding alone, traveling and discovering new spots, or shaping boards. One of the things that I really enjoy is shredding with my friends on our home mountain. Crazy to think how much gravity a board can have on your life. 
up to this day, I still wake up thinking about it. And I'm still that same little kid in my mind, hoping to dream about it every night. What's so awesome is that you build your whole life around it and let nature dictate what's happening next. Where you're gonna go, how you're gonna feel, what boards you're gonna ride. Traveling to me was always about going on an adventure with your friends, discovering new spots and peeking around the next corner. It is so awesome to break your routine sometimes, stop chasing your habits and finding the best snow, and make the odd choice. Try to see new places with different eyes.
slightly rocky. Okay, drop in. Great that Billabong and Solomon supported my adventure with Asmo from day one and saw the benefits this brought to my snowboarding. And it's rad that all the know-how we gained over those years, building Asmos, influenced the designs of the snowboards we're shaping now for the Hillside project. The workshop became a way for us to immerse ourselves in snowboarding more deeply, like a shaping filled a void in the right moment, which I think came from repetition. You know, you develop a certain opinion of how things should be, in terms what boards you ride, and in general, you kind of tend to comply with the etiquette of snowboarding. <laughs> Building binding glass boards, we learned from so many different concepts. It just reminded us there is no norm, no rules. Another thing what I really like about snowboarding is that it doesn't come easy. It forces you to put your time in, be patient, humble and dedicated. Not sure where I just heard that, that there is always pride in trying something and failing, but no pride in not trying at all. A lot of times it seems fitting, you know? You just want to know if you still can do it. And so when it does happen, conditions align and you connect, it's the raddest thing in the world.
the end, you get to find what makes you happy. When I look at my kids, it makes so much sense when they connect and enjoy themselves. A smile is worth more than a thousand words, really. It is so funny that something so easy and accessible, like riding a mountain, can do so much for you. Ha, 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 ha. 